what's going on everybody and welcome to your 29th HTML and CSS tutorial in which I'll be teaching you about a very special tool in most of the modern browsers which makes your life a hell lot easier if you are a web designer not only this this is also helpful when you are doing stuff like debugging your code or seeing how the DOM tree is made in the browser or just you want to include some elements edit some data live on the site which even you don't own and all that stuff so let's see how it works so in my browser right here in Google Chrome I hope you're using Google Chrome if not uh, then I hope you're using Firefox and if not then I do not hope you are using IE because you know why. So now we have this browser right here and in Google Chrome when you right click then you will see a very special a context menu right here which says inspect element and just go ahead and click on this and uh, wow, you will get a whole lot of new type of bunch tools right here and this is not a part of the web page so if you are thinking that this uh, is something you can create with HTML you can't so this is a part of Chrome browser and Chrome tool and using this you get a lot of features like your timeline the time took by your HTML page to load the JavaScript which you can see in my JavaScript playlist resources used right here like the images you are using audits your console for javascript and this one is hooked by my plugin right here the edit this cookie this one so you might not see this one if you don't have that edit this cookie installed but i need that for some other purposes so here we see our own html document we uh, we write here so let's say if I do hello world and with the inspect element opened I reload this page so now inside body I'm seeing hello world written here so let's say I want to check that whether uh, how would the document look if I change the uh, change it to hello worlds and instead of just going back to this bra code menu code file what I'll do is I'll just double click here on this text and I would write a s and I would just hint by enter key and you can see on the live side it gets changed to, uh, to something new and not only this you can change pretty much everything like the CSS and all that stuff and I'm gonna tell you my secret today and it would allow you to select any color or anything you want a very beautiful or any precise color so let's say I give it a body a background of black so till now we have been just hard coding the colors with some words or some most common properties like your hash EEE -E -E, which is a hex one for a little whitish type of background but let's say if you want to see a whole lot of bunch of backgrounds for your uh, document so what you'll do is uh, you'll just put any property right here and let's reload this and we have got a dull and ugly background black page so now inside this now in Google Chrome at least the console the elements tab is separated into two parts the HTML one and the CSS one now CSS one will show you every style you are every L style of the element you are designing so if I go to head then this head display none uh, displays something I would tell you in the next tutorial and head display none would basically mean that I do not display this on the document so if I do like head and I can directly add some CSS down here by clicking on this plus button so this plus button would automatically create a new style rule for me 
and inside the body let's see what we are we what we were supposed to do now when I click on this color this black color whoa I get a color uh, pathway and using this I could select pretty much every color we have in our computer so let's say I want to give it a blue color and here's my cursor drag this little friend to blue and you can see live on the side that the color changes to wherever this blue cursor is you can see that yourself and you could pretty much give it any color and instead of just coding hard coding green now we have a wide range of variety of colors we could use so let's say I want to use a kind of shade of golden and this one looks great and I would like to give it a color of white so now we have not only this uh, freedom to choose any color we want but it's also very useful to edit CSS styles by viewing them live on the document on the go so now let's see say if I want I uh, like these colors so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and down inside my sublime text I'll just paste it down here and uh, the indentation is a little bit disturbed but we can fix that and I'll reload this and we got our styles pre-applied because of our document so inspect element using inspect element we could technically view any style of any element and we can change it live on the document so let's say if I say div and let's say color should be gray and let's say I am a shade of gray and now just remove this hello world and just remove this color white as well because we are already supplying gray in this so now this looks pretty much ugly right now and I want it to be a timeline inside black but I would like it to be a little bit visible so I'll just drag my little friend right here to a little bit top I don't want it extremely white I don't want it extremely black I just want it somewhere middle which is visible so I guess that's pretty much it and the friend you see right here would help you to grab a color from some some other elements so it is a kind of magnifier you see and this would only appear when you have clicked on here and you're hovering over the document so let's say I want to select the same color we have in the background so when I click on this this color applies to the same color we have in the background and so it's not visible and let's uh, change it to white and let's drag it down a little bit and this looks good just copy it paste it and life's good so that's how inspect element makes your life a hell lot easier to work when you're creating live documents and web pages so that's pretty much it with inspect element and go ahead and style and do some styling stuff with uh, this inspect element and in Firefox also we have got a one inspect element but that's kinda not friendly or maybe I'm not friendly with that inspect element as compared to Chrome's one because I have been using this Chrome's inspect element for like you say a couple of years or more so I pretty much know everything what's happening inside this inspect element so I hope to share that knowledge with you in my future tutorials and that's it for this tutorial of inspect element of chrome and we would be discussing more on inspect element in our future tutorials but that's all for the day so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe